I knew that the show was going to have all these elements of, of darkness and, and the reality of being in, in a women's prison, but also a lot of these very surreal, funny moments where people are able to experience joy and freedom in any situation that they're in. I think sonically, it goes from this very closed, dark, sarcastic place, cynical, and the sounds reflect all that, the lyrics reflect all that, into a place of just kind of meditating and ruminating and then, then being snapped back into the reality of it. And I think that's sort of what happens in the show over and over. Think of all the roads, think of all the crossings. I love Regina Spector and I think she's a genius and I think she's just an incredible talent and an incredible woman and I, I listen to her albums obsessively while writing and um, I wanted to spend more time with her and I just had faith that she'd nail it, which she did, and I'm so grateful she said yes. When I played it for her, she really loved it, so I, I felt a great sense of relief because by the time I was done working on it, um, I just felt like it was totally the exact right thing and it's, it's always a really good feeling when you have an artist take something that you're making and want to incorporate it into their art. That's sort of the greatest feeling because then you get to experience something you made through a completely different lens. The end.